Okay, okay, James, you have, I would say, one of your, arguably, one of your biggest fights coming up. Just talk us through the whole way that kind of unfolded, because the way that it's been told to me that originally you were booked for London. So just talk to me how that actually transpired. Yeah, it was like, I was booked for the fight like tonight, uh, tomorrow night. And uh, then I was just like on Twitter one day scrolling through and I was like, uh, rumours have it that Valtar coming to uh, MSG. So the first thing, I was like, MSG, like Michael Conlon just fought and then Connor fought like a few months before and stuff. And I was like, that's what I swear. I want to be as the biggest, the most historic venue in the world to fight. And, like, the greatest of all time I fought there, Mike Tyson, the, the lot, do you know what I mean? I'm, that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the footsteps I want to live up to, do you know what I mean? So I want to be able to say that MSG have a picture of me up and say James Gallagher once fought here. That, that's that's what that's the that's the goal I, I have in mind. And so then I just takes Belter and I was like, here I, I co basically headline two shows in Ireland. I've, I've done done everything like you've asked me to do. I'll do anything you want me to do. Just give me a shot in MSG. Cause I'll give me anyone you want. I'll fight anyone. Doesn't matter. I'll take anyone there is. And, and then they came and they had the opponent and I had the contract signed within about 10 minutes, as usual. <laughs> so that's it. And just on your opponent, this is a huge step up for you in terms of a calibre. Now, I know that uh, John Cavanagh, he's got like a philosophy that you're actually not necessarily preparing for a specific opponent, but surely you've been looking at tape, surely you've been looking at his technique. I mean, just talk me through what exactly you've been doing in the lead up to facing the Yeah, definitely. He's like, he's got the karate style, do you know what I mean? But and everyone's like, oh, he's gonna like has come up with the karate style. But everyone forgets that that's where I started. I started with the Shotokan background. I don't know. He's been doing it for 30 years. Do you know what I mean? He's been doing, doing karate a long time, but. I've seen the style, I'm, I'm aware of the distance, I'm aware of the speed that they use, I'm aware of the, the, the kind of straight lines that they move in. And I'm ready for I'm ready for that. I can see it coming and and I know I know the, the pressure that he's gonna bring, I felt it before. So I'm ready for that pressure and once I, I feel that pressure I'm gonna figure a way how to remove that pressure that he's going to bring and I'll get around him and I'll in, in, uh, do my own thing as usual. I just go in there, I feel it out, pick my shots and then I get them down and choke them. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with this guy. I'm gonna go in there, get around that, that, that style, figure it out, land my strikes, I'm gonna clinch up, I'm gonna take him to the ground, I'm gonna get his back and I'm gonna choke him. So Moving slightly on, um, I spoke to uh, an old uh, an old adversary of yours, uh, AJ McKee, yesterday, and he had a few choice words to say for you. I mean, I'm not sure if you've seen the video up on Woe TV as yet, but he basically um, was a little bit baffled by something you said where he was supposedly giving you advice on how to actually conquer um, Anthony Taylor. Yeah. Just talk me through that whole thing. I mean, he, he seems to think he might have it twisted. Nah, and you were sliding in his DMs. Nah, he messages me, I'd say, every three days. Every three to four days, he sends me a message. And now I just ignore him at this stage, just like a fucking little obsessed girl or something. Like, just messaging, messaging, I'm like, you're whatever. But how I came about, we were in Dublin, and he was in my gym or something. And he walked past me, and I go, you're fucking next. And he goes like, ha. And he walked on. That's, that's what he done. And he walked on, he didn't say nothing. He came up to me the next day, he was like, I don't want no beef or nothing. And I was like, that's cool. Then we're in a, he, he was, our hotel rooms were like, I was here and his is here, like directly across. And he seen me going into my hotel room. And uh, he was like chatting or whatever. And I was getting ready to go and like do a check in or whatever for the, the Belter crew. And he was like speaking to me in a just general chit chat. And I was like, oh, he's actually, he's actually a cool, cool enough guy. Like I, I thought he was sorry. And then he was like speaking and then he was, uh, he started going, I was like, so then I was like, asking him about Anthony Taylor, I was like, uh, so what's he like? He's all oh, man, you know, he doesn't really train unless he has a fight coming up and stuff like this. He was all, he's very strong overhand and he was all, but, uh, and a decent takedown. And he says, but you're going to get him on the ground. That's, that's the words that he said to me. He's always going to beat you with the left hook and try and bang an overhand and then get a takedown. 
And that's what he said to me. And uh, I was like, wow, like this is a bit weird. So then I just blabbered on. We had just chit chat, general conversation. And he goes, do you train with Conor McGregor? And uh, I was like, yeah, I do. I was all trimming every day. So I would fuck that guy up. And I looked at him dead in the eye. We were just two of us in a hotel room. No one else was there. And I was like, Conor would knock you the fuck out. And I was like, you're not, you're not on that level. You're just, you're just not your miles below that. And I was also, don't ever, ever like try and say that. What one of my teammates would knock the fuck out. And you could just see him look like, wow. Do you know what I mean? And then he was doing all these videos. Then it was cool. Like we were cool after that. He went out. He was looking to come and party with me after my after my fight. And I was like, nah, I'm going home. I'm not going party. I'm, I'm going home. They rest up and get back to the gym. And. Uh, and it's just a different kind of mind mentality that we have. It's different, do you know what I mean? I, I'm a true professional. I go home and I rest up after my fights, and he was up in the party and stuff like this. And I'm just, I'm just that's not me. And then he, two, three days later, he got on the plane and went home. And then next minute, I just see all these flipping things, James Gallagher, this James. And I was like, what the fuck are the fakest motherfucker I've ever seen? And then he's doing all these videos, and I'm going to smack him the next time I see him. And then I see him in the hotel. He looks and he, he looks away. And I'm like saying, well, I thought you were going to smack, smack me. And he turns around and walks out of the room just this morning, a few hours ago. I was doing a bit of jiu jitsu and I was like, I thought you were going to smack me. So I go for it. And he turns around and didn't open his mouth. And he's just fake. He's just trying to bum up the cameras and try and get a bit of hype going. And that's not me. That's Finally, not me. he said that um, he's going to be there supporting you in New York so he can get in there and strangle you. Is he someone that you're actually looking at ahead of? I mean, I know you don't like to look past opponents, but ahead of when you actually succeed in New York. I mean, can you see that AJ McKee is someone that on your radar? 100% he's on my radar. I'm, I'm coming for him. I'm coming for him. And he's on about strangling me. Nah, 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 nah. I strangle people. Just look at my record. I, I strangle more fuckers. I, he's, he's not my level. Not, not on the floor. He's even a stand-up. He's very wild. He's not... He's explosive and that's all he's got. He's not he's technically he's not that good and he's not about strangling people, he's he doesn't got the the technical ability to strangle anyone. So I don't know what